Okay, so this short video is about the cardiac cycle and looking at a couple of or a few key terms in relation to it. So um, it's often a question on the exams in terms of can you describe the cardiac cycle? How does exercise affect the key terms? What we are going to talk about later on in this short video. Um, and, and generally the cardio respiratory system, how it works together to allow the body to exercise um, at various at various intensities. Okay, so we've got quite a simple um, diagram of the height here, which I just want to draw your attention to. Um, and again, good practice. There's certain things you need to know for your GCC and some things you don't necessarily need to know. And that, I'm just going to tick and, and cross a couple. So we need to know about uh, the pulmonary artery. So, uh, we need to know about the pulmonary vein and what the difference differences are between arteries and veins. We don't need to know the mitral valve in terms of, um, but we do need to know what valves do. We don't need to know the aortic valve. We do need to know left atrium, and we do need to know left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium. We do need to know, um, we don't need to know, sorry, again, pulmonary valve and that, but we do need to know where it enters. Okay, so we know it enters in this section here, the right atrium, which I'm going to talk to you about in the next slide. Okay, so we're just going to look at the cardiac cycle now and look at it in a very simple format. And I think this is a really good way of being able to memorise and understand the process and the cycle which happens when the blood circulates the body. So the first section we need to look at here is from the body, blood is going to go and enter the heart and it enters the heart at the right atrium okay so it enters the heart the right atrium now as you can see here i've drawn the line in blue because at this moment in time it's deoxygenated blood which i'll come to shortly the then the blood from the right atrium then drops down passing through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle and it then goes out from the pulmonary valve and it makes its way to the lungs now you actually don't need to know the terms of the valves okay but you do need to know that valves are in the process of the cardiac cycle in the sense that the valves what is the function of it well the function of the valves are to prevent backflow so you don't actually need to know the names in terms of tricuspid and the pulmonary valves, but you do need to know that the valves are within the heart, and there's four of them, and the role of the valves is to prevent backflow. So back to the lungs, so as blood's out of the lungs, now as we know from our previous lesson, this is where gaseous exchange takes place, and the blood will become oxygenated by oxygen attaching to the red blood cells, and as we know from previous learning, that's the haemoglobin, the protein in the red blood cells, which attaches the oxygen to become oxyhemoglobin, and it will then make its way from the lungs then, and again, as you can see, it's red, because it's now oxygenated, and it will come into the left atrium. Now, at the left atrium then, it drops down through the valve here, the mitral valve, and then, this is the big one, it is then pumped out, through the aortic valve to where is needed in terms of the working muscles. Okay, so as you can see there, um, from this diagram, you can see where the blood is uh, deoxygenated and when it is oxygenated. Now, I just want to draw your attention to the left ventricle. Now, you will have heard from previous learning or previous lessons the term stroke volume. Well, the term stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped from the left ventricle in one beat and as we've said in previous learning the healthier your heart the stronger the contraction the better and more efficient that pump will be and be able to pump more blood to the working muscles and that is why often elite athletes such as Mo Farah have very low heart rates and also um, are able to provide their working muscles with a large supply of blood due to that contraction being very very strong you also heard of a, a key term called cardiac output well, the cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped um, 
in within one minute. Okay, so two key terms in terms of stroke volume. Okay, and I'll put shortened word there. Stroke volume and cardiac output. So two key terms but are really really relevant to um, the heart and the cardiorespiratory system. So I hope that's made a little bit of sense. Um, my advice would be to do exactly what I've just done here using a, an A4 piece of paper. You just need three colours and, and draw exactly as I've done it here. Okay, like I said the key terms are right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, body, lungs, valves. If you want to be really smart and you're pushing yourself towards A levels when you finish your GCs, it's it, you know it's good practice to know the four valves, um, but you don't necessarily need to know for GCC spec. Okay, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Okay, and the key bit is that it enters here, the right atrium.